Hey y'all, today we're making a hair growth elixir using one ingredient, hibiscus. This is my long, thick, and strong hair with consistent use. Exciting, right? Be sure to watch the entire video so you know why it's been a staple for more than a thousand years, how to make your own, and how to apply it for miraculous results. Hey Z-Stars, hey friends. What's good in the hood of the Proverbs? It's your girl, Zara, lovingly referred to as Epic Zara. And I'm back with another video. If you've never been here before, you've been missing out for a very long time, and I recommend you subscribe. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me once again. I love you so much. Now, today we're going to be talking about a miracle herb, a brilliant ancient herb, hibiscus, which we're going to make a beautiful tisane out of. In today's episode, it's a beautiful, deep, rich plant with a lovely aroma that is rich in a bunch of nutrients that are able to help restore hair when you're losing it, when you have alopecia, and heal the scalp from fungal and bacterial issues. Now, of course, I don't wanna spill all the beans in this intro, so let's get right into this video. But of course, before we do, please be sure to thumbs up and let YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what types of teas and tisans you've used on your hair in the past. Be sure to also share this with your friends and your loved ones and anyone who's suffering from hair loss that is seemingly irreversible. And last but never ever can be late, subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Now, without further ado, let's cue that intro and get right into this brilliant presentation. <laughs> Now, I hope you all enjoyed that wonderful intro. Of course, as the intro so politely suggested, be sure to follow me on Instagram so you can see my sexy pics and even sexier reels or whatever. But that short digression aside, let's get into the beautiful benefits behind this incredible plant, hibiscus. Hibiscus is a genus of flowering plants in the mallow family, Malvaceae. The genus is quite large, comprising several hundred species that are native to warm, temperate, subtropical, and tropical regions throughout the world. Member species are renowned for their large, showy flowers, and those species are commonly known simply as hibiscus, or less widely known as rose mallow. Other names include hardy hibiscus, rose of Sharon, and tropical hibiscus. The hibiscus that is touted as a traditional hair growth plant is Chinese hibiscus, or hibiscus rosa sinensis. There's another type of hibiscus that I adore, but if you all want to know what it is, you'll have to drop some flower emojis in the comments section for a video dedicated to this amazing mystery plant. What type of ingredient is hibiscus? It is actually a conditioner and a hydrator. It adds deep moisture to the hair and is a great complement to plants that are more astringent. The main benefits of hibiscus include Hibiscus keeps hair healthy and conditioned. It thickens and volumizes hair. It treats dandruff. It prevents split ends. It decreases hair loss. It also has the potential to regrow hair and reignite dormant hair follicles. It is traditionally used as a hair loss treatment for those that are experiencing types of balding and alopecia, including age-related balding or androgenetic alopecia. Who should use it? In general, anyone without allergies to plants or pollen and without sensitive skin such as eczema or psoriasis who is looking for a more natural way to regrow hair, decrease frizz, and thicken and or volumize their hair, though there are people with sensitive skin that find it soothing and replenishing, such as myself. Please, of course, be sure to patch test before use, and you should be patch testing before you use anything on your skin or hair. Fantastic. Now that you know what hibiscus is all about, let's get into this beautifully concise recipe. Hey everyone, we're finally going to be making this hibiscus tisane. Be sure to watch carefully. All of the quantities will be on the screen, so please pay close attention. 
so you don't miss any crucial information. Please also note that you can store this in the refrigerator for seven days after making it. Following that seven days, I would discard it. Thank you! Put the water on the stove to boil. Add the herbs to the boiling hot water. Allow the herbs to steep whilst boiling for about 5 to 10 minutes. The time frame is dependent upon how concentrated you want the tea to be. So while we're waiting for this to boil, be sure to check out my recipe bible and other digital products. There are a whole bunch more recipes with hibiscus. You'll also have access to my hair oils, my hair greases, my hair juices and jellies, and so much more. It's 20% off and it's linked in the top right corner so that you can easily access it. Be sure to open it up in a new window. I'll also be dropping some reviews from my loving clients so you all can see exactly what they think of my products. Be sure to also check out my bundle, which is 35% off. You have access to my hair growth calendar, my recipe Bible, my holy grail, and my hair care planner. It's a much better deal than buying these products individually, and I know how many of you love to buy them in a bundle. Here are a few reviews of my digital products from you. Be sure to pause to read. After this, turn off the stove and allow the rinse to further infuse for another 6 to 10 hours. Strain the mixture and add it to your mason jar, applicator bottle, or spray bottle. Once ready, use as desired. Store any extra in the refrigerator for later use. Now that we've made our hibiscus, how exactly are we going to use it? There are several ways to do so and I'm going to show them to you right about now. So let's see what application Z is doing in the next frame. Hey y'all, so today we're trying something new in the form of a voiceover. Let me know if you enjoy this style of delivery. So of course I'm showing you my spray bottle with my hibiscus teas on. Then I'm using my little hairband. Normally I use a scrunchie, but most of my scrunchies have given up the ghost. I think I'm smelling it, but as you can see, I'm just gently distributing it all over my edges. Then I'm going to take down my hair section by section so I can make sure I reach my scalp in every single twist. Now, as you can see, my hair is extremely thick, so I need to ensure that I take my time so that each strand of hair and each segment of my scalp is covered.
Now when it comes to usage of this particular product, I do not rinse it out. I use it every time I'm slated to re-moisturize my hair. It's a huge part of my hair growth routine. For access to that routine, please be sure to check out my hair growth calendar linked in the top right corner above. It's 50% off. Alternately, you could check out my hair growth bundle, which contains all of my hair growth products, including all of my brilliant recipes for 35% off. As you can see, I've completed the application. I'm now going to put my hair up in my signature top knot bun and we're going to move on to the next step of this process. Wow, we've made it to the end once more. Did you all enjoy that? I hope so. Please be sure to try this again if you're suffering from hair loss that seems irreversible. Hibiscus has been used for thousands of years in West Asia to remedy hair loss and other scalp ailments. It's also a huge staple in East Asia, really just Asia as a whole. But again, I'm digressing. We're at the end of our video, so please drop some blue emojis. If you've made it this far, be sure again to thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy this type of content. Comment down below, do you intend to use the hibiscus recipe? Share this video with your friends and your loved ones. And last but never ever can be least, please, if you're not already, subscribe to my channel and turn those notifications on so that we can see each other more often than not. I know you know I love you. If you don't, I do. You're looking really swell today and every other day. Let's make this a regular thing, you know? <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And I'll see you in my next video.